Morning started off bright sunny with the rush hour traffic buzzing by safe cold field here in Seattle but right now the clouds rolling in but that's not an ominous sign because the Mariners are looking to break a five game losing streak all these games have been lost here at home in the opening homestand we welcome you to Mariner baseball the finale against the Texas Rangers Dave Sims Mike Flowers root sports crew with him. Taiwan Walker will be facing this lineup from the Texas Rangers. And he'll have to be careful with the middle of the lineup. Fielder, 10 RBIs in the first nine games for the Rangers. Adrian Beltre in this series, 375 average with a home run, five RBIs. Both of those hitters are four for eight against Taiwan Walker. Odor, five for eight with a home run against Taiwan Walker. So don't fall asleep on the number seven hitter. Brett Nicholas is going to make his second start of his young major league career. He started on the opener of this series and went two for four. Taiwan Walker, see what he did last year. 11 game winner, a 4.56 ERA, 157 strikeouts to 40 walks. Opponents hit 252 against Taiwan. And a look at the defense. Nelson Cruz is going to be in right field today. Seth Smith, the DH. You have Adam Land getting the start at first base. Like to see him get some regular playing time so he can pick things up. Cattell Marte had last night off back in the lineup today at shortstop, and Chris Ionetta will do the catching. What did we learn about Taiwan Walker last time? Six innings, seven hits, two runs, no walks, four Ks, gave up a home run. I think more of what we just saw in, in, on those numbers, Dave, and that is he commands the strike zone. I thought he did an excellent job of that at times when he was in trouble. He saw his velocity jump up a couple, two or three miles an hour. I'll be interested to watch his slider today. He's been working on that. It's a pitch in progress. His last outing, Chris Iannetta called it in quite a bit. It looked more like a cutter. He said he was overthrowing it through the break. So see if he can tighten that up a little bit. We are ready for action. Good to have you with us, everybody. The Mariners will be taking off for New York after this game. As Les Diaz says, let's play ball, and we do. Fastball up and in, ball one. Vance is out there. Hey, Vance, haven't seen you in a while. Hopefully, he will not have to push the button for closing the roof here. There's a man in charge. 55 degrees, wind, not much of a factor at one mile an hour. Mike, you're talking about two guys to be careful with Prince and uh, Adrian Beltre combined eight for 16. Mm -hmm. The other portion is we've seen these last two nights. The bottom of the order has been murder. And that's why I mentioned Odor, the number seven hitter, five for eight with a home run against Taiwan Walker in his career. Bottom four in the order the last two nights. Monday, they go eight for 17, five runs, one RBI. Last night, seven for 15, five runs scored, and two runs batted in. Well you're right and, and the problem with the Mariners is it's the guys at the bottom of the lineup that actually the newcomers have done pretty well and Ionetta pretty good pitch right there 95 miles an hour right on the outside corner to pick up his first strikeout. 93 with the first few fastballs and puts a little extra on this one well located again but Ionetta and Martin have been just fine they've really been swinging the bat well got to get everybody else involved now. No more. Mazzara been on fire has been called up six for 13 a homer two runs batted in and he made two special plays out in right field last evening. Mazzara playing a distance fourth game. Don't be surprised if you see that slider cutter combination in on the hands of Mazzara. There's one of them right there. After watching him for a couple of days Dave he likes the ball up and out over the plate. Top prospects in all of baseball. Taiwan's going three and zero oh with him. for Taiwan. His average fastball, 94 miles an hour. You see him mix in a changeup as he loses him for his first walk of the season. So this is changeup. It's a hard changeup. It'll be around 88 miles an hour. Good curve ball, and again working on a slider. Last time I talked to Mel Stoudemire and Junior and Taiwan about it, it was coming along pretty nicely. But now game time's different, right? Well, I was talking to Mel Stoudemire also about his slider because when we were doing the first game that Taiwan pitched, I kept calling it a cutter because that's what Taiwan had thrown in the past, and right. it was around 91 miles an hour. And I remember talking to Mel towards the end of spring training, and he was saying he wants Taiwan to work on that slider. So when I was talking to him about it, he said, in the bullpen, it's one of the best sliders you'll ever see. But he said in the game he gets a little amped up sure. overthrowing it and it doesn't have the break and it looks more like a cutter. 
Got to be dangerous. Uh, be uh, careful here with a dangerous hitter, Prince Fielder. That is a hard 188. Hitting a buck 88, but he's got 10 RBIs. Tied for the American League lead. Tyler White of Houston. He's picked up at least one RBI in seven of the nine games. And I talked to Chris Ionetta about Taiwan and his slider because he was throwing that cutter a lot more than we're used to. Last year's fastball percentage was at 65%. His last start was at 46. But he's threw the slider 20% of the time. Last year it was right around his cutter was about nine. Good pitch. Under the hands, two and two. Fielder four for eight against Taiwan Walker. Ten RBIs already for Fielder. Walker quick worker he's got a runner at first one out pitch back him off full count as Diaz breaking out balls and strikes today Corey Blazer at first Jeff Nelson at second Doug Eddings the umpire at third on deck Adrian Beltre wrecking crew last night three two pitch runner goes and it's the other way beats the shift base hit Prince Fielder and here come the Rangers. And it's on a fastball up out over the plate, probably just off the outside corner. Jeff Bannister talking about how great situationally Fielder has been here in the early part of the season. Another piece of evidence right there. Here's Adrian Beltre. What a night he had last night. Two for four. A run scored, knocked in five, hit a three run homer in the third, a two run double in the seventh. I think this is the type of hitter Dave that a good slider with Taiwan's fastball would come in handy. Yeah, change directions on him a little bit. A little downward tilt to it see if you can get a ground ball on the slider. Zara. He's at second. Fielder at first. Going to Beltran. Later in doubles in the American League with five and second to Prince Fielder in RBIs. There's a little better slider right there, starting him off on the outside corner with the slider. Hit well, right center field, going back is Cruz. And he gets it back in, hits cut off, man, there's two down. Exploded off his bat, got up in the air and died. Two outs, two on. Mitch Moreland will be the hitter, first baseman. We can. The Vance at the ready. The weather system moving in. He's ready to hit that button and get the roof in motion. Yeah, the bottom told me to go ahead and close. So. And there you go. <laughs> Said to close it. Let's start moving. Mitch Moreland. And he get 214 here in the early season, two for eight with a homer against Taiwan. Coming into the game, the Rangers hitting 276 with runners in scoring position as you watch the roof closing. Moreland Monday night, one for five. Didn't play last night. A one. And a good change up. Taiwan has that split change. Good pitch for him. Real it good is, pitch for him. Especially the left handers. Eleven and eight record last year for Taiwan. Finished ten and three over his last twenty starts. Strike two. Marte shading towards the middle of the diamond. Cano well out onto the grass. He pitched number 21 for Taiwan. Two out, two on. Count evens at two and two. Two and two. Foul. 
Stay with the off-speed pitch. Yep, good curveball at 75 miles an hour. Down out of the strike zone. Early threat here by the Rangers. Just underway. Roof in the process of closing here at Safeco Field. 2 2 pitch to Moreland. Down low, full count. It's his third three ball count. Taiwan was able to wiggle out of some trouble against the A's last Friday in the home opener. Here's a 3 2 to Moreland. Runners go. Pitch fouled. Out of play, third base side. 3 2 and Taiwan went with the changeup. Kind of running off the outside corner. This would be pitch number 25 as Vance has the roof on its way to cover us up. Do it again. Here we go. Three and two. Bases are loaded. Second walk of the inning. So Mazzara goes to third, fielder to second. Well, the good news for Taiwan, Ian Desmond, a good player, had a down year last year and has struggled so far out of the gate. He just 114. Mel Stottlemyre making a trip out to the mound now. There you can see the pitches. 25 pitches, 13 strikes for Taiwan. Desmond back in the outfield where he played before he got into travel ball. Came a shortstop at that point. Runners all over the place. Mazar at third, fielder at second, Moreland at first with two outs. Tough go for Desmond, four for 34. It's a big hack. Comes up empty. Desmond 0 for four, a couple of strikeouts last night. Safe go field, 1 1, hit the other way. All three pitches, fastballs, all of them at the top of the strike zone. Most of the fastballs that Taiwan has thrown in this inning have been up. Needs a put away pitch here, 1 and 2, bases loaded, 2 outs. Two pitch. Ionetta has been stellar in keeping the ball in front of him. I don't, I don't think we've seen one go to the backstop and since the season started, maybe even in spring training. Uh, I'm definitely counting spring training, yeah. I mean, he's been really good. Exceptional. Next pitch will be 30 for Taiwan. 2 2 pitch. Up the middle takes Cano right to the back. He just beat him. Taiwan survives a bases loaded first inning. As Desmond bounces into a fielder's choice, they get Moreland at second. Mariners out of trouble. They'll swing the bats when we come back.
Nori Aoki off to a good start, a seven game hitting streak being carried into this ball game. He's going to get things started for the Mariners. Let's take a look at the rest of that batting order. That's good to see him on base and starting to heat up. Nelson Cruz, the Mariners only scoring seven runs on the hometown. Nelson Cruz has driven in three of them. Adam Lynn, 18 home runs in 52 games against the Rangers in his career. And then how about Ionetta and Martin? We were hoping they would get off to a fast start. Well, they have. Ionetta hitting 278, Martin 320. A.J. Griffin, take a look at his numbers from the spring. ERA right at six in 18 innings, gave up 20 hits, only two walks. He will come right at you with his fastball, 19 strikeouts. He allowed 12 runs. Slight delay is Jeff Nelson, the crew chief, returning to second base. A.J. Griffin, little light applause, tapping the ball <laughs> in the glove. Hey, Jeff, good to have you with us. Griffin coming off of two Tommy John surgeries. Delivers a strike to Aoki. Couple of hits in this series for Nori. Mariner said just four last night. He had one of them. And the roof is just about closed here at Safeco Field. Or Griffin, his fastball is going to be in the upper 80s. At times, he'll touch 90. Throws a lot of fastballs, a lot of cutters. Also mixed in a curveball. Oh, keep ahead to count three and one. Seth Smith on deck. Solid base hit, right field. Digging it out is Mazzara. Aoki play in front of him, digging for second, and he's in standing up. Leadoff double for Nori Aoki, and the Mariners have their first hit of the ball game. That's his first double since joining the ball club. And it'll extend his hitting streak to eight games now, so he's really been swinging the bat well as you take a look at it. Gets a fastball in the middle of the plate, elevated a little bit, but he stays on it and barrels it up. We're used to seeing him hit the ball up the middle the other way, but a nice swing right there. Take a look at the defense. Mazzara, Dave mentioned, took away a couple of hits last night. So did Adrian Beltre at third. Alberto getting his first start at shortstop. And Brett Nicholas, just his second game in the big leagues. When you look at the Mariner batting averages and some of the slumps they're in, the phrase, they're due, comes to mind. It, it's, it's been odd here in the first week, to say the least. In a struggle, they go down and score 21 runs in three games in Arlington. And then here at home, they've struggled. See Ioki right there with an eight game hitting streak. This is a guy with a 353 career on base percentage and he has yet to pick up a walk. So you know that's going to change. Seth Smith. 250 hitter thus far this spring but he's had his problems against Griffin. He's 0 for 7 against him. Seth during the spring training. It was just unbelievable 500 plus. Just went absolutely crazy swinging a bat. Hit the ball hard too. 1 1 pitch. He's been steady out of the gates. The problem is, is the Mariners, it's their ninth game, and they face five left handed starters. So he hasn't been able to put any at bats together. Same with Adam Lind. Coming into today's game, Seth Smith just three for 12, and Adam Lind one for 17. So their opportunities will start to increase. Good count here for Smitty, three and one. Cano on deck. Seth second on the team with five walks. Pretty good change up. Yes, it was. Full count. Robinson Cano on deck. Three two pitch off the fist. Aoki back to second. And Griffin throws out Smith. No way. Here's the home run leader, co leader with Josh Donaldson in the American League, Robinson Cano. Team RBI leader. Spectacular start as you look in from center field. In the upper deck. Cano after the scorching start has cooled off mightily over 14 to 
for that train to start going in the other direction. Up high to Robbie. AJ Griffin. Well, Homer's coming against this Ranger ball club down in Texas. Two strikeouts last night for Robbie and his 0 for 4, looking for a first hit here in the series. Two and 0. AJ Griffin, formerly with the Athletics, as we mentioned, the two Tommy John surgeries. One is first start Friday against the Angels. A career mark three and two against the Mariners. <laughs> Top end of the zone. Two and one. Center fielder to Shields, couple of steps towards right to get a big gap between the left fielder and the center fielder. Two and two. The Rabian will be heading back to his old haunt, Yankee Stadium. He'll be there Friday. Nathan Carnes goes against Luis Severino. 2 2 pitch. Talking to Jeff Manister, he said that Griffin's going to drop that curveball as cruise weights. he go down as, as low as 62 miles an hour on that break. Last one was 65. Three two to Cano. There it is again. Sixty six. Oh, boys in the dugout had that on the scouting report. Now they've seen it live. Do it again here. Three and two. In tight. Nelson Cruz will have a couple of men aboard here in the first inning. A walk to Cano. And Taiwan had to throw a lot of pitches in the first over 30 and 18 pitches now for Griffin. Steve Buschel, the bench coach. Only eight strikes. It's nice to see that hear that sound bite. The pregame show and Nelly Cruz talking about hey we as veterans hey we're not producing we talked to the young guys hey keep it together no problem we got this. I think that's what you have to do. Veteran guys on the team when you have a meeting like they had last night after the game, usually it's the veterans that'll stand up and talk to the guys. Continue to encourage the younger players. Up and in the cruise for his last four. They need that kind of leadership, no question about it. They'll lighten, up, lighten it up a little bit. First week of the season. It's, it's the thing I always like or admire about baseball players I mean, because you got to play every day. Certainly don't ex let the panic get to them like maybe the fan base would. No, you know? they, 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 can't, can't they can't afford to do it. And I think that was probably part of what was talked about in the meeting last night. I think the other part about it too is for the younger players, when you get into something like this and it's going to happen. You start to press a little bit because you feel the pressure to tune out all that outside noise and just think about doing your job on the fastball at the top of the strike zone. Two and one to Cruz. He's three for 12 career against A.J. Griffin. And he's Martin. He's off to a good start, hitting 320. That service couldn't say enough about him. The defensive work he has been doing, and specifically last night. Oh, oh man, like an Ephus pitch. Down to 66. Oh, there you go. Let's see if he's out in front of it. Yep, just a little bit. Couldn't wait long enough.
2 2 pitch to Cruz. It's outside. Count runs full back to back. Make that three consecutive now. Full counts, and he's gone to three ball counts on all four hitters that he's faced. Kyle Seeger on deck. He too looking for a big breakout. 3 2 to Cruz. Breaking ball popped up. Ooh, heck of an effort by Nicholas. Right near Martin. With this growing up a Mariner fan. And it was on the slow curveball again. You'll see him reach over the dugout. Martin, he did what he's supposed to do. Don't move. An assist for Cruz right there. 24 pitches in the inning for Griffin. In the old days with no railing. Nicholas probably would have not have gotten any help at all. He would have been on his own. He wouldn't have hurt and the opposing dugout you're not going to hear somebody say you got room. Three two. Foul off. From what I've heard and read over the years there have been some scuffles dating back guys coming into the other team dugout like that falling down some words. And they're playing the feud. Cruz, see if he can do some damage. 3 2, and he takes it for ball four. The Mariners have loaded him up. Well, great opportunity for him now. Double and a couple of walks, just one out in the inning. Doug Brokale, the pitching coach for the Rangers, going to make a trip out. And 26 pitches, just 12 strikes for Griffin so far. Taiwan loaded him in the top half of the frame, and now same thing for Griffin. Kyle Seeger can come through and he's the right guy you want given his career numbers against the Texas Rangers. Seeger 329 career hitter. Against Texas Maniacta. Talking to Aoki. No it's second. And yet Cruz at first. Two for seven runners in scoring position here in the early go. There, three career grand slams for Kyle. Certainly the biggest one was the extra inning one here against Chicago in the 14th against the White Sox a few years ago. That one tied up the ball game. Sure did. Would we go to 17? I think so. Big spot. He could use it. Right here in a 2 0 count. So Kyle's going to get something he can drive. Yeah. Sager 2 0. 3 0. Doug broke the Pitching coach Jeff Bannister to your right. Huge opportunity. 3 0. Back with a strike. 3 and 1. No surprise that Kyle was taking that pitch all the way with the struggles that Griffin is having commanding his fastball. Big pitch here. 3 and 1. And oh, handled by the shortstop. Are you kidding? Goodness gracious. Can't catch a break. What a play by Alberto. And Texas survives. Second inning coming up.
Check out our Big Fish Casino Big Catch, and boy, does this leave a bad taste. I, yeah, they did everything right, including Kyle getting to a 3-1 count, hits it as hard as you can possibly hit it. The ball actually takes a bit of a bad hop, and you can see Alberto making the catch and finishing the double play. That's a great play. It's a great play. But a terrible break oh, for the Mariners who are trying yes. to get something going. Oh, the humanity, come on! <laughs> the reason why that batting average ball is put in play is at 224 entering today's game and there's another yes, example it is and just what we were talking about too Dave this game will test you and frustrate you at times but that's the reason why so many players have to stay on an even kill there's yep. nothing you can do about it. we heard Scott serves before the game once you hit it it's out of your hands and Kyle hit it on the button it's Cano scooping it up throws out the always tough root meadow door and how about the athleticism of Alberto not yeah. to get crushed by Cruz Hey, when you purchase single game tickets at a Mariners team store, you're going to save 10% off all regularly priced merchandise like the new 2016 Navy alternate road jersey. Gear up for Mariners baseball. You get tickets at one of the five team store locations. Well, Taiwan ended up throwing 30 pitches in the first inning, able to get out of it. Griffin right there with me through 31 pitches and was able to get out of a base load situation. His hands are Alberto. Fine, fine play. Wonderfully athletic jump to avoid Cruz. He did go since last Diaz 101. He's looking for his first hit of the year. 0 for 6. This is third game of the season. Day off for Elvis Andrews. Jeff Bannister said he gave Andrews the choice of the day game they had last week to have offered today, and he took today. One and two. Well, hopefully in an hour or two we can look back at that play and laugh. Right? <laughs> if not, hopefully. If not, is it hopefully if not, I got the first round. <laughs> <laughs> Probably the only one that will not be laughing will be Kyle. Oh man. Oh, nice play. They have enough. Alberta runs well. That's a base hit. A fine effort by Seeger. You know he was still thinking about that ball he just hit. It's the other part of this game. No matter what's going on at the plate, you can't take it out to the field. And Kyle does everything he possibly can to try to make a play and help out Taiwan Walker. Here's Brett Nicholas. His second game debuted a couple of nights ago. And what a debut it was! Two for four, two runs scored. A double. And that seventh inning double, run scored, and a eighth inning single. Big league debut. Shot of his family reacting oh. to base hits. What a thrill that is. Good from the here in Seattle area, Tacoma, actually. There they are again, same seats. Like they had their rosaries out. <laughs> a nervous group, huh? Bannister called him a grinder. Worked his way up. Pushing his way into this situation. He called on when Robinson Chirinos went down. At risk, this foul off. One out, one on. One two count. A piece of it fouled it off. Nicholas batting in a nine hole today.
Mariners could use a little double play action right here. Marte and Cano are set for such. Mariners playing Nicholas straight up in the infield and in the outfield. And the pitch. Gets on it. Cruz makes the catch. And taking off was Alberto. He thought that was going to be a base hit. Mariners do get the double play. They need it. Now Nelly Cruz towards the line. Bails out Taiwan Walker. Taiwan looking at him like, big man, I'm happy you got to that one. No score. During this line drive that looked like it might have dropped in. Can't help but think of my mom who's in Spanaway watching right now and I'm sure she can relate thinking he's going to get a double and Nelson Cruz <laughs> what a great reaction makes a play on it. <laughs> Ball was rifled down there Alberto said man that's extra bases and I'm scoring and want to get a double play nice play by. Mr. Cruz. Here's Adam Lind. That's typical of moms. They are definitely more nervous than the players are. Here's the 0 2 to Adam. Off the end of the bat, foul ball. And is it dead? I know I did it. And I know you do it because I've asked you about it a million times. Walk out and hit it right field foul pole. <laughs> Away from everybody. everybody. Yeah. <laughs> The kid doesn't necessarily want to hear you, <laughs> but he wants to see you. Yeah. And then that keeps you out from earshot so you don't say something that you'll regret <laughs> over the dinner table. Very, I learned that lesson a couple very of times. Good point. <laughs> <laughs> I had one son, I don't mind that man, it's okay. The other one, like, get lost. Yeah, don't want to hear it. Not not even close. <laughs> Strike three call. Tough go for Adam Lynn. Oh, for his last 13 and now one for 18 on the season. First strikeout for Griffin. Bring up Chris Ionetta. Five hits early going for Ionetta. Hit leaders on the ball club Aoki, Cruz, and Martin. In fact, Aoki takes the lead with nine. Balls. Chris. Sends one to center field. Coming in hard is the shield. The second baseman Odor goes back out. Quick two outs here in the second. Hey fans, our annual Ultimate Northwest Fan Contest is back. It's presented by Country Financial. 
Root Sports is going to be looking for the ultimate fan in the state of Washington throughout the month of April. So submit a photo and story on our website at rootsports.com slash ultimate fan. You can win a VIP trip for two to Seattle in September, personalized jersey and more. For official rules, visit rootsports.com. There's Lanny Smart team. And they get 320. Beltre in on the grass at third, taking the bun away from it. One on one, Alinis. Off the fist, no play. Hard luck for the Mariners. First inning, bases loaded. Kyle Seeger hits a ball hard up the middle. What a hop handle by Alberto turns it into an inning ending double play. One, two. Teen 0 for 3 last night. Oof. Youngster wants some of that. Ah, there we go. To be out here at Safeco Field down sometime down the road. It's almost two o'clock. It'll be nap time for that youngster before long. Two two. Full count. Tell Marte on deck. And it'll take ball four. Third walk issued by Griffin. Bunch of two outs. Mariners will be making their way east to take on the Yankees. Our Century Link. What's next? Nathan Carnes against Luis Severino. Felix, who has tremendous success in New York over the years, takes on CC Sabathia coming off a nice win the other day. And then Hisashi Iwakuma and Masahiro Tanaka, the Japanese media, will be going crazy. They're going to dig that one. And I wonder how many folks over in Japan have already booked tickets for that. They'll tune in. It'll be what, 1 o'clock New York time, so that'll be about 12 hours behind Tokyo time. Good matchup. Marte seemed like he was off balance a couple of nights ago last time we saw him. Yeah, he, he basically he was jumping at the ball, drifting forward too much, and the fastball he was having a tough time catching up on it, which is unusual for him. Usually he stays fairly balanced. Change up. Oh, it's 2 2 out, runner at first. Marte four for 25 so far. Edgar Martinez keeping a close eye on him. Yep, my concerned hitting coach. Mariners last in the league at 208. Fouled off as Martin is on the move. It's a good time to run. A couple of outs. Marte down in the count 0 2. Try to get yourself into scoring position. Mariners looking for their first stolen base. A bit surprised to see that. Totally. 0 for 4. And yeah, and they, they ran a lot in spring training. Martin had six or seven stolen bases in the spring. But then again, the opportunities, not hitting, not getting on. Yeah. Or and you're that, behind by a bunch and it, exactly. so you can't afford to run anymore. Oh, 2 pitch and holding on is Nicholas. That's the second strikeout for Griffin, both coming in this inning. We've got a scoreless ball game here at Tifco Field.
Wilson Cruz Boomstick Bobblehead Night. Thanks to Root Sports, the first 20,000 fans will enjoy the boom and the bobblehead for him. Join us for a night that's sure to be a blast when you get your tickets at Mariners.com. Tape measure not included. Kansas City Royals, the world champions, will be in town that weekend. That's when we come back after this road trip. That will take us to New York, Cleveland, and Anaheim all aboard. When we come back, it'll be Houston and Kansas City. Three and three with each team with a day off in the middle. Go down to first base umpire Corey Blazer. He did go to the line with the shield, so the count at one and one. Struck out looking, open up the ball game. Ball and two strikes. Rangers will leave here and head home. They've got Baltimore for four, day off Monday, and then Houston for three. 2 2. Taiwan, let's see, one, two, three. This is fourth, three ball count. He's walked two already. Bouncing ball stays fair. Seeger, quick release. The shield with plus speed beats it out. And that is the reason why Kyle had to get rid of it quickly. Scott Service wants to maybe take a look at it. Corey Blazer, first base umpire. Really good play by Kyle Seeger. We'll take a look at Adam Lynn, the first baseman, stretching for it. I think he's out. Yep. Yeah, he wants him to take a look at it. As soon as the ball hits the back of his glove, that's enough, and there it is. And his foot's just starting to come down on the base. So I think they're going to take that base hit away from him. Good play by Kyle Seeger. It's one of the things we talk about all the time, and it's especially difficult for young players. But it's such an advantage if you're an infielder, knowing the speed of the guys that are hitting. Because Kyle, who was playing in even a little bit, probably more than normal, knowing he had to get rid of that, that ball quickly. And he also bounced it on purpose, by the way, throwing it off the grass, skipping it. Miss a fast track. And that's a that's a real advantage to a guy in a, in a play like that. No, you're, you're right. And, and that's the reason why Kyle had to get rid of it quickly. It barely cleared the mound. That's how long the hop was. He wasn't going to be able to get a lot on the throw. Take a listen here. Back at Chelsea Market area in Manhattan, where MLB Advanced Media is located. Incredible. It's like being in uh, Star Trek facilities they have with all of video feeds coming in from all around Major League Baseball and the video edit rooms and everything. What a what a setup there. On the west side of Manhattan. Taking a long look. No more Mazzara will be the next hitter. Let's see what happens. Talking to Scott Service in his media session today about the relievers. Steve Ciszek may get some action. It's been a while since we've seen him. So doesn't want him going a long time without him. Just get him into the game so yeah, he can absolutely. pitch. Yeah. yeah. Scott was also pleased that the veterans had that meeting post game last night. He said he's not a yeller or, or a screamer and just likes to talk to guys one on one and keep it measured. And he also not a big fan of as a coach. Long post game get or any post game get togethers after it. Right. At that point, you want to just go home. And well, and there's other guys that are obviously disappointed and upset. Yeah. But not a yeller. I wonder if Jeff Bannister would agree with that, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> 
if you saw the series last week, with John Warren Homeson giving up a couple of bombs and then he hit Ionetta. Ionetta and Scott Service both showing a little fire in that situation. I liked it. Boy, long look here. It's a lot longer yeah. look than I thought it was going to require. Let's see if there's another angle. Hit the back of the glove, and there's the foot. It's like he has not quite touched that bag yet. A lot of hands on hips. Supposed to be quicker than this, isn't it? That play is so close, though. Corey Blazer, the first base umpire, he shouldn't feel bad if he ended up getting it wrong. That's how close it is, mm -hmm. and we're going to find out right now. That's a good point. Wow. Safe. Talked to a lot of first base coaches, and they say it's a, they get more of them right than wrong. Those oh, bang I agree. bangers. I agree. An infield hit. Call stands. So a leadoff single and a lot of speed from DeShields. Taiwan's going to have to work hard to keep him close to first. DeShields has got two stolen bases in three attempts. Here's Mazzara. That was a three. Minutes at 48 seconds on that review, and the Mariners are out of challenges. They can request a review later on, but certainly no guarantee they'll be rewarded with such. He was leaning. Did a good job to get back. We talked about it with Taiwan. He's a good athlete, and he has quick feet. Saying he's going to have to work hard to keep him close, and he is certainly doing that. Lazaro walked on four pitches in the first inning. Are 21 years old on April 26th, then slashes this one foul out of Santo Domingo. Under 11 games at Frisco, he had 284 last year, 13 homers and 56 runs batted in. Call time. And that infield hit the third for Texas so far. Oh and two. Taiwan now at 50 pitches. If he missed it, he had to throw 30 pitches in the first inning. At the bases loaded, was able to work his way out of it. Infield double play depth, Marte and Cano up the middle. Zara runs well, so does the Shields. For the Shields, 0 2 pitch. Down low for ball one. Rangers as a team are five out of nine in base stealing. The Rangers come into today's game number one in the American League in runs and hits. He had a nice swing. Good nice, looking he did a nice job of fouling that pitch up because that's a that's a tough pitch, especially when you're down in the count. You can see it on the QC tracer. It's elevated the top of the strike zone just off the inside corner. And a lot of left-handed hitters would swing under that pitch. Another look at his swing, really shortened it up. You can see how late he was on it.
Taiwan ready with the one two. Two balls, two strikes. You got Prince Fielder, Adrian Feltre. Next two hitters. Two and two. Five last night, Monday two for four. With a sacrifice fly, a couple of singles first two times up. Just below the radio booth, two and two. Seven pitches so far in the uh, bat, and Taiwan has shown him everything but the curveball. Mazzara. Bouncing ball can know to Mark Taylor's one dig out by Lynn. Nicely done to get the double play. Ooh, now second base umpire. No Gucci. longer the neighborhood play. Jeff Nelson said he didn't maintain contact with the bag. Let's take a look and see if we can see what happened. It's a good flip by Cano. He never touched Ooh, it. He sure didn't. He went for the drag and missed it. Yeah, he never touched it. He's just trying to just drag his toe off oh, that corner. Man. And oh, Nelson had a good look at it. He never touched it. Unfortunately, that's the right call. Scott Service having a conversation out in the middle of the diamond. Let's take a look at the runner. He has to maintain contact with the bag early enough slide. That's fine. And it looked as if he stayed on the base too. Maybe that's what Scott was arguing about, but I didn't see anything right there. He looked as if he was able to maintain keeping his hand on the base. Zara is out four six three. The shields the second one out. And there was no that that view we had. The old days that's no big deal right. It's in there. Although yeah, nobody the umpire would never call that. And now the runner at second and fielder. Like one to Prince. And a 3 2 count in the first inning and single to left. Was able to get a fastball up out over the, the plate and lined it into left field. Good curveball. Max effort there by Ionetta to block that ball in the dirt. Marte playing up the middle, Cano out on the grass, expecting him to pull the ball on the ground. 0 2 from Taiwan. Oh, could not hold up. That's a good three pitch at bat. Good stuff by Taiwan Walker to pick up the second strikeout. Still not out of the woods yet because Adrian Beltre is next. Let's take a look at it. Ahead in the count, elevate the fastball. That is really elevated. Take a look, see if this is above the shoulders. Mm. Beltre on a 0 1 pitch fly to right. Pitch number 60 here for Taiwan. Adrian was one of the hot hitters coming into this series. Drove in five runs yesterday. Texas on top of the American League West, 5 and 4. Just ahead of the Angels at 4 and 4. To strike them all. Yeah. 
One one pitch to Beltre. Two and one. Fourth start, fifth game for Taiwan against the Texas Rangers. Record of one and one. There's a two one pitch. Oh, yeah. Oh. Got a break there, two and two. Speedy runner at second, two outs and a 2 2 count. Adrian Beltre. Put it in play. Lynn can't get it into right field. Here's Cruz. He's got no play at the plate. Scoring on a play is the Shields. Another RBI for Adrian Beltre. Texas has a 1 0 lead. That's his ninth run batted in. I'm not sure. That he could hit a ball any softer than this one. This is one of the slowest ground balls that's going to get through the right side. You can see how far off the line Lind is and still isn't able to get to it. Cano was playing up the middle. Boy. Hit him where they ain't. He couldn't have thrown it any better. No. Beltre with an RBI, he's at first two outs. The shield scored and it brings up Mitch Moreland walked in a 3 2 pitch. Mariners will put the shift on with Moreland hitting. Here we are in the third inning and Taiwan's about to throw a 65th pitch. Joining us, Mariners loaded him up in the first inning. And Kyle Seeger hit into a double play and one hop smash that went to Alberto, the shortstop, who made a heck of a play. 1 1. Here to Moreland. Two balls, one strike, but his count is just getting pummeled. And you go back, yeah, and you go back and you look at this inning. The Shields called safe on a close play at first. The challenge it ends up standing that he's safe. And then Marte misses the bag at second. And he kind of turns around and, and scores. And that would have been a double play, and Taiwan's probably off the field. Cost him another 15, 16 oh. pitches easy. Yeah, it cost easy. him a run and a bunch of pitches. And out here, two and two, two outs, runner at first. Long run for Seeger and Nianetta. Good effort, can't get it. Shift was on. Nianetta had was the closest Kyle Seeger's playing over at the enormous shortstop position. If he had been able to make this catch, it would have been a great play. You can see where third base is, how far down the line he had to go 90 feet out from behind home plate and try to catch it with the catcher's glove almost yeah you can see it over the shoulder effort just out of his reach. I bet that's the longest he's ever had to run for pop up in his career. Well, the thing that he knew it too he knew exactly where Kyle was playing so he had no choice. Two two. Struck him out needed it and got it. Limits the damage to a run. Here in the third inning, Rangers lead it one nothing.
Northbound. What's the car? What's the cargo here? What? What are these objects on these cars here last night? Well, this afternoon, we think we might have got an answer. There you go. <laughs> Heading down towards Renton. 737s. Pretty good convoy. A one nothing Texas lead. Here's Nori Aoki. Top of the order here in the Mariners home third, followed by Smith and Cano. Double to right on a 3 1 pitch lead off the home first. AJ Griffin, he has walked three and struck out two. Two to Nori. Mariners trying to end a five game losing streak. They open up the home season after going two and one down in Texas. Left field, Desmond towards the line. A lot of carry. Yes, Mar he dropped it. So Aoki is on again. Well, he just was able to take his eye off of it the last minute. I, I'm not sure he was aware of where he was at on that warning track. I think he thought maybe he was a little bit closer to the wall than he was. At the glove, then off the old noggin. Same uniform many years ago, Jose Canseco. Remember, off his head over the, over fence. the fence. So on E7. Tying run at second base for the Mariners. Seth Smith tap back to the pitcher in his first at bat. Smitty now 0 for 8 against Griffin. Rick Riz and Aaron Goldsmith on Mariners Radio. And we've talked about it. The Mariners on this homestand have not had many breaks. Well, this is one of them that you have to take advantage of. Mm -hmm. Came into today's game three for 27 runners in scoring position on the homestand. Not making that up either. There we go. Base hit center field. Aoki around Another mistake. third and booted out there. Smith going to dig for second. Could be close. He's in there. Here's a break you're looking for. 1-1 one, one ball game. Smitty picking up a hit and his third RBI. Maybe that'll break the curse or whatever the heck was hanging over this ball club. Don't stop now. That's exactly right. It'll be a base hit and an error on the center field there. Seth will pick up an RBI. Solid base hit back up the middle and good hustle from Seth. Keeps his head up as he's running. Sees the ball deflected in center field and continue to run. Take a chance and is able to get himself in the scoring position. Cano walked in a 3 2 pitch last his first time up against Griffin, slumping it old for his last 14. On deck. A couple of errors in this inning. Working out to the Mariners' benefit. Ball three. Elsa Cruz waiting on deck. Nelson walked in his first at bat. 
last time the Mariners led in the ball game was Monday. Cruz's RBI double in the first inning. There's the strike. Three and one. Great opportunity here for the Mariners in this 1 1 game. Going back is Beltre, and Hendra Alberto calls him off, makes the play. And Cano is gone. Not number one. Families can enjoy a great area at Safeco Field located just off the main concourse in center field. It's a Seattle Children's Playfield that features a playground, kids' concessions, and much more. Swing by the next time you're here at the ballpark. A lot of fun out there for the youngsters. It's a great place to. Cruz with the go ahead and run at second. Strike one. Kelly walked in a 3 2 pitch in the first inning. That curveball, 65 miles an hour. In his first at bat, he threw him the curveball. At 65, three different times. Straight away in deep, out of the outfield place, Cruz, 0 2. Didn't offer. Wanted to. Two to Cruz. No advance. Two balls, two strikes. At right center field. Kyle Seeger on deck. Come to you above the A at Safe Go Field. These folks have a good view looking in. Kyle had a hit into hard luck, inning ending double play in the first. What a play by Alberto. A balk. Is that what he called? No. I no. just no. barked that out. It sounded like it said balk, but obviously no movement. Here we go two and two. We needed some more balls. That's what it was for the ball boy. Cruz trying to put the Mariners in front here. One out. Seth Smith at second. Kyle Seeger's on deck. I didn't make out what he said that time. Miles Diaz home plate on prior today. I don't think he's happy with the pace. Mind if I agree with him? <laughs> no, I'll go right ahead. <laughs> run on four hits, two errors for Texas. A run on two hits, no errors by the Mariners. Pitch it foul. Eighty-one miles an hour on that pitch to Nelson Cruz. Pitch number 66 coming up for Griffin. Two and two. Swing and a miss off the catcher's glove. Cruz down to first. He's safe. 
Seth Smith goes from second to third. And another break for the Mariners. Trying to capitalize. High fastball up out of the strike zone. Clearly misses and clearly off the glove of Nicholas. Strikeout. Another opportunity for Kyle Seeger. Kyle in the first and he came up with the bases loaded. Hit the ball as hard as you could possibly hit it, but it was right at the shortstop. In between hop, he was able to somehow make the catch and turn it into a double play. But another chance for Kyle to drive in a run right here. Strikeout pass ball. One out. And strike one to Kyle Seeger. Opportunities are here. Two errors and a pass ball. That's way inside one one. Runners at the corners, one out. Goes over on one on door. To Alberto, another inning ending double play. Ouch. Ernest do score and tie it at 1 1. His second start of the season. Threw a lot of pitches in the first inning. 30. Got a big strike out there. Prince Fielder struck out three and walked two to this point in a 1 1 ball game as we take a look at the Mariners calendar. Brought to you by Sleep Train. We'll get to New York about 2 a.m. East Coast time. Have the entire day off in New York City tomorrow. Three games with the Yankees. And you'll see Felix. And uh, Iwakuma and Nathan Carnes in that series, not in that order. Then you got a day off in Cleveland, three in Cleveland, three with the Angels before we come home for a quick set. Houston for three, Kansas City for three, and then back out on the road again. Mike, was that anything weird enough or what? <laughs> it was strange. I think that the thing that is too bad is the Mariners, really, they catch three breaks in the inning and come up with just the one run. Error by the left fielder. Error on by, the leadoff hitter, and he right, ends up at second. Right. Center fielder makes an error, so it's a nice setup. And then the strikeout to Cruz that goes to the backstop, and you have a first and third situation with one out. And Kyle hits in hard luck again, back to back, uh, two plate appearances, and he's bounced into double plays. 0 2 to Desmond. Strike three called. Not what he was looking for there, and he's back in the dugout. Back to back keys now for Taiwan Walker. He's got four strikeouts. We'll bring up Ruth Ned Odor. Door. 
grounded out to Robbie Cano to start the ball game. For strike. Door 261 hitter last year's get had 16 homers and 61 runs batted in. Marte calling off Seeger out number two. Taiwan, see how comfortable he is out there. He's retired the last three men that he's faced. He's got Hanser Alberto infield hit. Hit the ball hard down the line, and Kyle Seeger was able to dive and make the catch. Too much speed from Alberto, he ended up beating it out. Cano is there. Throws him out. Taiwan, much needed. One, two, three inning in the fourth. When we come back, Adam Lynn, Chris Ionetta, and Leonis Martin in this 1 1 game. Here in Root Sports, being brought to you by BNSF Railway, sponsor of the BNSF Blast by Safeco Insurance. Find a local agent at Safeco.com. Do more. And by the Washington State Spring Fair. Come celebrate spring April 14th through the 17th at the Washington State Spring Fair in Puyallup. The Arboretum. Beautiful colors. And Adam Lynn could not check that swing. On one, Lynn to be followed by Ionetta and Martin. Adam struck out looking on a one two pitch, first time up. So popped up. It's Moreland calling for it. Bring up Ionetta, popped out to second. One one game. An RBI single for Seth Smith to score Aoki in the third. Mariners with two hits. Aoki a leadoff double in the first and Smitty in the third. With that base hit. A couple of double plays proof costly. Griffin with the Oakland Athletics in 2012 and 13. He went seven and one. His rookie year, 15 starts in 2012. Came back in 14 and 10 the next year, and then all 
And that's a problem. It's two Tommy John surgeries. That one hit foul. First time we've seen a Mariner header square off that curveball, the slow curveball. One, two. Strike three called. Griffin with his fourth strikeout, quick two outs. This copyrighted telecast is presented by authority of the Seattle Mariners. May not be reproduced or retransmitted in any form. And the accounts and descriptions of this game may not be disseminated without the express written consent of the Seattle Mariners. Two outs for Lillis Martin. He walked in his first at bat. Beltre in at third on the grass, up high, ball one. Adrian. Jay Griffin really mixing things up. Curveball around 64, 65 miles an hour. He's had a good change up. Moving his fastball around. Again, not overpowering his fastball. 88, 89 miles an hour. Throwing that cutter inside to the left handers. Skipper said he plays the vertical game up for purpose, down for effect. 3 1 count here. On deck. And Martin walks for the second time. And for Griffin, that's walk number four. This afternoon comes to two outs. See if Marte can get things going. Struggling a little bit. Had getting last night's game off because of that and ended up striking on his first at bat today. Shirting up, brought in Beltre. Ball one. Anders have yet to record a stolen base. Back is Martin. Pretty good move by AJ Griffin. Martin looked as if he was leaning a little bit. I think he was going to try to steal it. Trying to get a base hit off of Arthur Joseph Griffin out of San Diego area. And there's wow. the first stolen base of the season for the Mariners. Strange stolen base, but it works. He probably ends up taking off, goes two or three steps towards second. I thought that Griffin would just step off the back of the mound. He does the right thing, he continues to run hard. He ends up throwing the ball to first instead. I'm sure the infielders were yelling that he was running. They want two no count here to Marte, chance to pick up a run. Mariners this afternoon, one for six runners in scoring position. That base hit by Seth Smith. Marte slashing away. Anderson now one for five in base steal. Chain a good runner at second pitch. Man, way late, two and two. Yeah, he's just swinging through the fastball right now. I think his head's moving around too much for him. Two outs and a 2-2 pitch. Swing and a miss. 
this. And right now he looks lost at the plate. Marte case for the second time today. Fifth strikeout by Griffin. Runner stranded in a 1 1 game. What's next? Always a pleasure to see Felix Hernandez working at Yankee Stadium Saturday. We'll be on the air at 9:30. He takes on CC Sabathia. He's had some nice uh, performances in New York City. Ten starts, six and two record, 202 ERA. Look at the strikes, strikeouts over walks. Just a 2.28 batting average yielded. And a couple of shutouts there. Brett Nicholas. Delano De Shields, no more Mazzara. 9 1 and 2 against Taiwan Walker, who's rang up four strikeouts. He's walked two, giving up a run on four hits. Aoki, a couple steps to his left. Dory with the play, one out. And Taiwan at 80 pitches, 53 strikes. Tried the last five men. He threw 30 pitches in the first inning. He's able to leave the bases loaded. Got a huge double play in the second inning. Give up an RBI to Beltre in the third. Mentioned he tried the last five men that he's faced. Here's the Shields. Infield hit. Run scored. Well, Stottlemyre Jr. taking big notes. The shields he's off to a slow start swinging the bat. That is right below us. Barely got a piece of that breaking ball. One and two. Good curve ball, 75 miles an hour. View from stands here in the third base side. Two balls, two strikes. Up the middle, they hit. Fifth hit for Texas. Second for DeShields. One out base runner here for Texas. Don't forget to stick around after the game. The Mariners post game presented by Delta Airlines. Brad Adam and Bill Kruger will have that 
post-game show for you. Mariners trying to end a five-game losing streak all here at home in the first homestand. Love to take some winning momentum to New York, Cleveland, and Anaheim. Runner goes. Great break. Swung on and fouled off. In the Shields' previous at bat, he had an infield hit, and Taiwan had to throw over to first base a number of times, probably four or five times, to try to keep him close. I think that would be a good idea again. Today. 0 and 2 as he fouled off that 92 mile an hour fastball. Aaron is playing him straight up in the infield and the outfield. Started the game with the roof open, then they extended it into during the course of the first inning. Close things up here. Had the bases loaded in the first inning, came away empty. Did get their run in the third on a Seth Smith single. Didn't change the eye level. Way upstairs. See if he comes back with the change up. Vincent on the left, and Dal Nuno on the right. Taiwan, you know, Taiwan now at 90 pitches, so the guys in the pen they can see that starting to move around a little bit. Stretch him out. Nick Vincent got in the last night's game, as did Nuno. Both of them pitched scoreless innings. One two pitch. Two and two. And it started with Nicholas flying out to left. The shield single to center on the two two pitch. Fans enjoying their afternoon. Baseball matinee. Two two pitch runner goes, pitch swung on and fouled off. Late jump that time. I think Chris Ionetta would have had a chance to try to throw him out. Hector Ortiz, the first base coach for Texas, Spike Owen, the former Mariner at third. Some battle here. Two and two. And ball Cano goes for the tag and throws him out. Gets the double play. And here's the double play at the back end. He must have missed the tag the first time he did. I think he took the ball out of the glove and tagged him with the glove. It all works out <laughs> nicely for the Mariners. Aoki, Smith, and Cano coming your way. Upon our return here in Root Sports.
plays go against him this time. They get one that works for him. Look at Cano. He'll tag him, but the ball is in his throwing hand. He tagged him with the glove. The ball in his throwing hand. So the umpire initially called him out, then calls him safe once he realizes what happened. Adam Lynn, paying attention, fires it down to Marte, who then tags him because the shield was off the base. The shield probably thought that he was called out and didn't realize it. So a break for the Mariners. They'll take it. Aoki behind quickly here. 0 and 2 leading off the home fifth. They can now 1 and 2. Mariners with two hits. Aoki's got one, Seth Smith the other. In this 1 1 game. Saw what he did to Charlie Furbush, Al Stoudemire Jr., the dribbler. Griffin takes it and throws out Aoki. Nice play. That's it, calling the catcher off. Bare hand gets rid of it quickly. Strong throw to first. I'm wondering on that play if Robbie felt that the base runner was out of the baseline. I think he was borderline on the grass. I agree with you. One out here, Seth Smith. Where the two hits have come from the one of two holes in the lineup. Rangers have a run on five hits. Bill Trey drove in the run in the third. That breaking ball in the 60s. One and two. Griffin today struck out five, walked four. Coming off a win last Friday at the Angels. Alex Claudio getting ready for Texas. One of three left handers in their bullpen, along with Jake Dickman and Andrew Faulkner. 2 2 pitch. He didn't hang one of those, those breaking balls, and somebody was sitting on it. Cruz has had a couple of aggressive swings at it. Yes, sir. To see him run into one of them. He popped up, hanging up for a long time. Belt trays right there. And fair territory. There's two outs. Time now for a Geico this thing in MLB history. Brett Boone, 13th inning walk-off. It's R.A. Dickey. And the Rangers 4-3 back in 03. 46 walk-off home run in Mariners history. There's Robbie Cano walking a pop-up. So for his last 15, what comes what comes to mind? What have you seen? Well, early on he was pulling the ball, and they're going to try to go inside right now with a fastball, and, and that's what I've seen. That's the Robbie Cano we know putting on a show. Two to one. Mariners. Good call. <laughs> Yeah, bring it inside. I got yeah, something for you. I, they switched up on him a little bit in the homestand and were going softer away from him, probably because he hit the four home runs in the first three games. But they tried to go back in there right there, and he turned it on around on it. And that was fifth home run. 
Eighth RBI, two on Mariners. First lead for the Mariners since Monday on a Cruz first inning RBI double. That ball is crushed. Did it hit the cafe? Wheelhouse. I mean, that is a wheelhouse shot. Just missed it. Just underneath. So the Mariners have a 2 1 lead. Cruz. He'd like some of that same sampling. Look how level that swing is because the fastball was above the belt. And he's still able to stay on top of it and drive it out of the ballpark. Fans digging that 390 feet worth of home run, and he's got a good souvenir. Two and one. Two one to Nelly. Two outs. Nobody on. Towering pop. Beltray for the catch. Cano highlights the Mariner fifth. The Mariner said a two one lead. Sports being brought to you by Money Tree. Proud to make a donation to Mariners Care for every Mariners win. By Jack in a Box. Taste the bacon licious sourdough bacon ranch combo only at Jack in a Box. And by CenturyLink. Your link to what's next. More beautiful scenes from the Arboretum. Spring. Really brightening things up here. Bouncing ball to Marte off the bat. Uh, Prince Fielder, one pitch, one out. Good to see Cano get that home run. Yes, Breaks him 0 for 15. The Mariners have the lead for the first time since Monday in the Cruz RBI double in the first. He put a great swing on it, too. Right on the inside corner above the belt. How about this for the first time in a game and change now Taiwan Walker pitching with a lead. Beltre RBI single to right. Third inning flight out to right. In the first inning. <laughs> Taiwan is now at 96 pitches, so Nuno and Vincent getting loose in the pen. Ooh, he went after pitch around chin level. And we saw home run number 415 last night. These are the active home run leaders A Rod, Albert, Big Poppy, AB, and Miggy. We'll see Alex 
in New York on Friday and at the back end of this road trip we'll see Albert. Oh no. Still got him. Oh brother. Two outs. <laughs> We have seen some strange plays today. It is, it is the 13th. It's not Friday the 13th. It's <laughs> Wednesday the 13th. He has it, and then he just drops it on the transfer. No panic. I'm going to take a look at it, though. Mm. There you go. Hard to tell. Oh, he didn't beat it. He beat it. Yep. That will probably be an E3. Saw Beltre make the save call, but you can't go by him because he's always making the call. Nobody appeals more than he does. <laughs> save. E3. Oh, boy. So more extra pitches for Taiwan. Yeah, and it, they had a chance to turn a double play in the third inning, which he would have been probably out of the inning without giving up a run. But Marte missed the bag at second base, so he was called safe, and the Shields eventually came around and scored. But there was a lot of pitches after that. Walking a strikeout for Moreland today, breaking ball for strike. First error of the season for Adam Lynn, the Mariners' first error today. Desmond and DeShields have committed errors for Texas. Oh, and two. Right at an even 100 pitches for Taiwan Walker. Mariners have the lead on Robbie Cano's fifth career home run against Texas. Fifth home run this season against Texas. Most in a season against Texas. Mariners record held by who else? Ken Griffey Jr. with eight. Bouncing ball to Cano. With the lead runner. Do not get Moreland. Take a look at our Delta Airlines keep climbing standards. In the West, the Rangers with a half game lead on the Angels. Thing all bunched up early on. Mariners trying to get back in it here now, having lost five consecutive games all here at home. But they could be Minnesota or Atlanta, which are out of the gate at 0-7. Two and six sounds pretty good in comparison. Desmond struck out looking on three pitch at bat. That was back in the fifth inning. 0 for 2. Good high heat. Always seems when you're struggling, you're in an 0 2 count. Constantly battling, never easy. You can see he is 108 average here at the start of the season. Two one Mariner lead Taiwan ahead of two. Ninety seven mile an hour fastball his best fastball. This afternoon. He's at one oh five hundred five pitches. One two pitch. Two and two. Door waiting on deck, guys in the pen ready to go. Even get a punch out here, two and two. Long hold by Ionetta. Results in a ball, three, full count. Service, love to see his youngster 
leave the game after six with the lead and a chance to get a win. Three two to Desmond. There it goes. Taiwan's got it. Good throw and that'll do it. Through six. He's got a two one lead. <laughs> Not happy with some of the calls of Laz Diaz, but the Mariners have a 2-1 lead. Delivery of the game. And how about Robbie Cano? He breaks an 0 for 15, his fifth home run, all against Rangers pitching. And more importantly, he gives the Mariners the lead with that home run. Reason to celebrate. Seeing they head on here. 2 1 lead. Talking it over with. Coach Edgar Martinez, new pitcher for the Texas Rangers, left handed submariner Alex Claudio. A couple of left handers do up for the Mariners and Seeger and Lynn. Put the shift on now for. Kyle Seeger. Seeger, Adam Lind and I and Netta. Seeger's bounced into a couple of double plays. Hard luck day. Swinging a bat. Strike one, Claudio. 6 3, 180. San Juan, Puerto Rico. This is one funky delivery. Fly ball, center field. On the track is the Shields to make the catch. AJ Griffin today, five innings, three hits, two runs, just one of them were earned. He did walk four batters, had five strikeouts, he threw 103 pitches, 62 of those for strikes. A lot of slow curveballs, sinking fastball, pretty good cutter today. Adam Lind 0 for 2 a couple of nights ago hit a ball hard to left field. Did not leave. He said, geez, I crushed it. Got up in the air and the air pretty much frozen in time and he got a, a fly out. Struck out looking today and popped out the first. There's a no two hole. You were, you were just saying that. Yeah. Seems some things in baseball never change, and that's one of them when you're struggling. 0 2, 1 2, all the time. Outside, Adam. 
looks like Nuno is going to come in the game, pitch the seventh inning. Taiwan Walker had some words with Laz Diaz as he's walking off the mound at the conclusion of the last half inning. A couple of fastballs. Taiwan thought he had painted on the corner, didn't get the calls. Lynn looking to get on track. Slow start, one for 19. There's a base hit. Fourth base hit today for the Mariners. Good for Adam Lind. Sign your little sluggers up for the new free Mariners Kids Club powered by Junior Mariners. Membership includes newsletters and special offers plus a wiffle ball, Kids Club badge, and more when you visit Safeco Field. Join the free Mariners Kids Club at Mariners.com slash kids. One out base runner brings up Chris Ionetto for two and a pop up and a strikeout looking. Lind at first, huge hole on the right side of the infield with this left hander. He's trying to run the fastball off the outside corner. Claudio making his season debut. Like that. 33 games over a couple of seasons for the Rangers. Won one and one last year in 18 games here before. 0 and 0 with a 2 9 2. Oh, two strikes, Dianetta. Rangers got their run in the third, a two out RBI single right by Adrian Beltre. Bottom half of the third, Seth Smith, an RBI single to center. Mariners took advantage of a couple of errors. Then a home run in the fifth by Robbie Cano, and they can 0 for 15, giving the Mariners their first lead since Monday. And way behind on that pitch, pulled him. This Frisbee curves are seeing today. This one more of a Frisbee, the other ones is Griffin more of a 12 to 6, and, and Ethan's pitch in the 60s. Yeah, just 66 miles an hour on that last pitch. And it's Martins twice walk at the Mariners first stolen base of the season in the fourth inning. Mariners now one for five in that category. Strike one. Corner. Really goes into a lot of contortions to get set. It has to be tough to see for the left handers. Murder. Yeah. Hiding the ball. Dropping down. You can see he has that circle change grip. So he holds it on his back. Oh, two, two outs. Runner at first. Stuck him out. But it gives up a harmless single in the six, but the Mariners still lead two to one.
first inning performance five hits one run it was earned two walks four strikeouts and 108 pitches 74 for strikes threw the ball well today and I was really impressed with the last four pitches they were 96 97 96 96 pretty good when you've thrown 108 pitches just your second outing of the year and knowing he was finishing up he threw that you mentioned those fastballs 95 plus he felt real good about him and thought he had some strikes and a couple of pitches he did not get calls his last few uh, throws from Les Diaz Here's a look at some of the work leading up to it that this is the final out of comeback and this right here man, hey Les. Where was that? With pitchers that down Nunez and Diaz's reaction. They both got their money's worth, and I can say that. <laughs> well, through the years, we know Laz is not afraid to bark back at you either. Rubnet Odor. Sends this to medium center. Here comes Martin closing nicely. A lot of ground to cover out there. He can do it. Ford Nuno, just his third appearance on the air. He's pitched in two innings. That's three strikeouts. Hasn't walked anybody. He's the last man in the bullpen to finally make an appearance. Door retired. He's 0 for 3. Here's Alberto. 1 for 2. Hey. Count evens at 1 1. Alberto playing at shortstop today. Elvis Andrews getting a day off. Andrews went 3 for 4 in last night's game. Here's a line drive left field right at Aoki. Two outs. Two away here in the seventh. Host your next company event or annual outing in a suite at Safeco Field. Whether entertaining 14 or 400, your guests will enjoy Mariners baseball from a premium seating location complete with catering and VIP parking. Learn more at Mariners.com slash premium. Brett Nicholas going to step in. Just his second major league game. Monday he made his debut and went two for four and today he hit into one of the stranger double plays back in the second inning he had a ball down the right field corner Nelson Cruz covered a lot of ground was able to make the catch but Alberto was on first and ran so Nelly was able to double him up off of first. Good to see Mariner pitching holding down the bottom four in the lineup today because bottom four in the order for Texas the last two games really something this one tagged pretty well deep right center field but. There is Mr. Cruz. Nine pitch inning for Vidal Nuno. Home seventh coming up. It'll be Marte, Aoki, and Smith. 2 1 Mariners trying to end this five game losing streak.
and Washington's lottery. What would you do if you won? Download the app and play today. More from the Arboretum. Just lovely shots. Purple being the theme so far. And he call a duck. A duck. Love the nature beauty scenes. Cam beat them. Let's get Marte moving in the right direction. Tell Marte going to lead things off. A couple strikeouts for him today. He's been struggling lately. You know, when you watch uh, the British Parliament and they go, hey, hey, aye, aye, that's what the boys in the dugout are saying. Hey, I totally agree with you about getting Marte going. It's off balance a lot lately. Struck out twice today. I was hitting left handed. See if he has any better luck. The switch hitter going to turn around and hit right handed this time. Nine, one, and two. Marte, Aoki, and Smith against Alex Claudio, his second inning of work. Gave up a single, struck out two in the sixth. Check out that setup and delivery. Alberto throws out the mayor to shortstop, one away. Top the order, Aoki. We've got one of the four. Mariner hits. Mariners have not had a multi hit inning today. Single in the first, single in the third. Cano home run for the lead in the fifth. And in the sixth, and Adam Lind base hit just this second of the year as Joel Peralta gets ready. Joaquin Benoit has been day to day. Apparently not available. Typically, he would pitch in the eighth inning. The Alex Claudio set up and delivery. Who's it remind you of? Oliver Perez. Doesn't throw as hard, but same type of delivery. One one to Aoki. I'll trade in at third on the grass. With the double in the home first, extended his hitting streak to eight games. Up the middle, and Odor can't get it. A two hit day for Nori Aoki. There's just one out here in the seventh. Ride from Sound Transit's new Link Light Rail stations on Capitol Hill or at the UW. The best seats in the house. Plan your trip at soundtransit.org. One out base runner for Seth Smith. That was pretty good hitting by Aoki. As you take a look at Gutierrez going to pinch it. Breaking ball, he was fooled a little bit on it, Dave, and more times than not, left hander, especially left left. We have right here, they'll roll over and hit it to second, but it almost looked as if he took his top hand, started to come off the bat, slowed his swing down, and almost forced it back up the middle. Really well done. Yeah. Good, he's going to pinch hit for Smith here in the seventh. Goody hitting at 154, two for 13. One for one as a pinch hitter so far. He's now playing for the Nationals in Washington for Dusty Baker. Nationals off to a good start at five and one. Defending National League champion Mets. They beat Miami today to avoid a sweep. So the Mets go to three and five, Miami to three and four. Corner 0 
time too, but he didn't like the call. Shoulder slumped. We've all been there. Straight away, not too deep for Goody. 0 2 pitch. Through the whole base hit. That's a beautiful thing. See Goody off the bench, two strike hitting. Keep this inning moving along. Sets it up for Cano. Five home runs, all against Texas Ranger pitching. This was on an 0 1 pitch. And we just asked him, what are you saying? Well, he's not getting around on the inside. Boom. <laughs> I'll tell you what that swing reminds me of, too, is when he does that screen drill yeah, all the, the time. Other day. That was a perfect example the of, what, of, of what he wanted to hit. Yeah, what he wants that swing to look like. Doug Brokell, pitching coach for the Rangers, going out to have a conversation. Him do something else here against a left hander for Cano. 125 hitter against lefty pitching thus far. Make your voice heard. Nominate your favorite plays of the week by tweeting us using the hashtag root fan fave each month. One lucky fan's going to win a Coors Light refresher just for participating. Official rules is at rootsports.com. Folks out in the pen, they've been reasonably patient. We got a ball club leading now two to one. We would love to see the Mariners exit stage east for New York, Cleveland, and then to Anaheim with a W. I can see him add on to it. Tony Barnett getting ready. Surprise after the home run, the first pitch is away from him. Alex Claudio, season debut today. 1 0 pitch. Back with a strike, 1 1. Lament aboard, one out, looking to build on this 2 1 lead. Right to Beltre. That's all they'll get. Beltre wanted Odor to try to get Cano, and Dorf decided to hold on. Now it was strange because I think Beltre thought about maybe trying to tag Aoki, who was right next to him, and then threw the ball to second. Maybe throwing the timing of Odor off at second base. So runner set the corners, two outs. 15,075 on hand here this afternoon. I think Bannister wants to take a look and see what the slide was like going into second base. Back in the dugout he goes. Steve Bouchelle is bench coach. There's an RBI opportunity for Cruz. Runners at the corners, two outs, two on Mariners. Two runs, six hits, an error for Seattle. A run on five hits, two errors for Texas. And now probably a pitching change. Yep, Tony Barnett going to come in the game. So Barnett a couple times down in Texas last week. Breaking the action. Mariners lead 2-1. Looking for more here at home in the homestand finale.
very much. Opportunity here for the Mariners. Up 2 1. Runners at the corners. You get Nelson Cruz coming up to face Tony Barnett. Four appearances for him, 6 7 5 ERA, and two and two thirds. He has one strikeout, hasn't walked anybody, but he has given up some hits. See what Nelson Cruz can do. Mariner so far this afternoon, just one for eight runners in scoring position. Barnett spending the last six years with the Colt over in Japan, and that one fouled off. Early today, walk, strike, average first on a pass ball, and fouled out to Beltra. Yeah, and the Rangers had the shift on it and looked at Cruz, was trying to take a shot towards the right side. And now you can see the second baseman Odor moving over a little bit because of the swing by Nelson. Two out runners at the corners. And he'll one. Four and two to Cruz. Next man to pitcher will be Joel Peralta. He'll be the third pitcher of the afternoon. Taiwan Walker went six without Nuno went a one, two, three, seventh. Aoki. He's at third, Cano at first. Oh, get out, play. It's a day there. Two tone glove, new ball, great hat, great uniform. He is set. Natalie battling here. Sardinius, Galileo. <laughs> Swing and a miss. Cruz is gone. Couple of runners stranded. We've played seven. It's 2 1 Mariners. One lead for the Mariners trying to end this five game home losing streak. Get on the right track heading east to New York. How about this California craziness the last two games? Can you believe this? The Bakersfield Blaze allowed 13 unearned runs. Yikes. But then today they come back. Kyle Petty, 13th inning walk off. He's from California University of Pennsylvania. Named the Tino Martinez Award semifinalist in 12 and 13. 
All-America there. So that's a good win. This bounce back. A lot Joel of building Peralta. practice. Probably about 6 o'clock this morning. 13 unearned. <laughs> this will be the fourth appearance for Peralta ERA right at 3. In three innings, three strikeouts, one walk. That's remarkable. Outfielders playing deep. Trying to take the double away. Kyle Seeger playing in, but right on the line. Shields, they're laid it off. One of the fastest guys they have in a Ranger ball club. Shields Bud. It's ball one. Benoit is still day to day, so Peralta gets the call here. The veteran, 40 years old last month. Al Nuno, it's a one, two, three, a tidy seventh inning. Top of the order to Shields, followed by Mazzara and Fielder. Time to shield facing Peralta. Drives this one left field. Aoki chasing and it is gone. We got a 2 2 ball game. Second home run given up by Peralta here at home. Both of them really hurt. I think it's on the split. 78 miles an hour. He wanted it down in the zone, left it above the belt. And it ran right into the barrel of the shields. Made it by about a foot. Peralta had given up a home run in a Felix game. Here's the ball popped up. Seeger might have play, does have a play. Mazar is retired. Peralta gave up a leadoff home run to Marcus Simeon, eighth inning on Sunday in what became an A's 2 1 win in 10 innings. One out of run in tie ball game. Fielder one for seven against Joel. Now it's short right field on the shift. Peralta has all the pitches. His fastball will be at 90. Makes in a slider, curveball, and a split. Point two to Fielder. Pull the string nicely. Martin about five steps away from the track in center field. 0-2 pitch. Fielder with base hit to left in the first inning. Strike out in the third, ground out in the sixth. Started the day tied for the American League lead and runs betted in with Taylor White, Tyler White, Houston. One two pitch. Cruz is there. He's done some nice work today. Two outs here in the eighth. Make sure you follow Mariners Baseball live with the MLB.com at bat app. Stay up to the moment with game day, live game video highlights, stat cast, news, and more. Download MLB.com at bat, the number one app for live baseball on your phone or tablet. Two outs here in the eighth brings up Adrian Beltre. Beltre one for nine. It's Jake Diekman, left hander, hard throwing left hander gets ready. Make one to Beltre. Put the Rangers on the board in the third with the base hit to right. A 
to one. Benoit day to day he was going to be the eighth inning specialist. Somebody had to plug plug the hole and Joel Peralta doing it and has given up a couple home runs here this week. Tony Zick probably not available. Pits the seventh last night. Pits the ninth the night before. Oh man, Tomahawks high deep down the line. And foul ball. Wow. Plenty of distance. Yep. He's a happy guy. It should be, unless he doesn't look happy. Uh, I think he's mad that he didn't catch it. Oh. We have a timeout moment. Check swing. Lynn will feed to Peralta. And we go to the home eighth. This youngster, an unhappy moment. Bottom of the eighth inning, Mariners want to get on the road with a win. Got to get to work here in the eighth and ninth innings. Hopefully, just here in the eighth against Barnett. Kyle Seeger fouls went off. Barnett came on to get the final out of the seventh inning. Third pitcher today, Kyle. Tough luck. A double play in the first, a double play in the third. They fly out the center in the sixth. Fly ball. It's going to stay in the yard. Right center field. The Shields is there. Texas tormentor Kyle Seeger couldn't get out and track today. Seashack getting loose in the pen just in case. There's 
Christie. He will pitch the ninth inning regardless. Brings up Adam Lynn, strikeout looking. Pop the first and the second base hit of the season. They sit to left with one out in the sixth. Looking for his first Mariner home run. Good time for it. Got that lefty power stroke built for this ballpark. Two stand in the yard. Put ball hard on two nights ago. And nothing to show for it. Two outs here in the eighth. Century Link, what's next? Pitching matchups for the series against the Yankees. Carnes and Severino, Felix and CC, and Iwakuma and Tanaka. Three good looking matchups. On the, on the air Saturday and Sunday morning on an afternoon broadcast time for you on Friday. It will be the middle of the night in Japan. Baseball fans over there will want to see that Sunday game. Here's Ionetta. Pull for three. Strikeout looking and swinging. Swung on the pop up. Put it on the button to Alberto. Mariners are gone in the eighth. To the ninth inning we go on a 2 2 ball game. And Steve Suchek will make an appearance. Presented by Delta Airlines. We're going to have a complete wrap up of today's game, including clubhouse reaction from the skipper. Nice job by Robinson Cano. Apparently, all he does is hit home runs against the Texas Rangers. Uh, we'll get you ready for the road trip as well. It's all coming up on Mariners Post Game, presented by Delta Airlines after the final out. No free baseball today, guys, on Getaway Day. Come on. <laughs> Steve C. Check on. Thank you, Andy. He's, Angie is going to face five, six, and seven in the order. Here for the Texas Rangers in a 2 2 ball game. Fourth appearance for me, RA right at three. Three innings, one strikeout, a walk. Opponents hitting 182. His fastball will be around 91, 92 miles an hour. Mix in a slider and a changeup. Mitch Moreland going to lead off for the Rangers. Tishek was in action on Sunday. Pitched a scoreless ninth. Strike one. Nobody getting loose in either pen. Outfield deep.
ball in the strike. Orland Desmond and Odor coming up. Shields tied it in the eighth, leading off with a home run to left field. Joel Peralta tied it two. Both teams with two runs and six hits. Rangers have committed two errors, one for the Mariners. Good ahead one and two. Good running fastball at 92 off the outside corner. There he go. Did not. This is oh. Doug Eddings. Let's take a look at it. Well off the plate away and. Boy. I thought he went. Two balls, two strikes. I fly ball carrying on the track. Martine about a step from the wall. One out. I'll bring up Ian Desmond. Desmond, six for 14 against Cisha. Steve had been with Miami. Wow. Desmond is with Washington. Steve throws him out, threw away. Two outs for Rubned Odor. Be careful with him early in the count. Seen him get out over the plate on a fastball early in counts and hurt the Mariners. No, it's 16 homers last year. 0 for 3 day here in Seattle. You're talking about one one. That went with the slider that time. Sean Tollison getting loose closer for the Rangers. One one pitch. His best fastball so far, 93 miles an hour. Check deals one two. No stays with it. Just got him. Oh, I think we may take a look. He thought he was safe. Yeah, Bannister wants to hold him up. Here it is. Chest up. Stays with the play. It is. Corey Blazer first. Great base look right there. Yeah. Fortunately for the Barons, he was called out. And they're going to take a look at it. So Odor confident. It was a top spinning line drive towards Cano and ended up. And in between hop and we'll take a look at the back of the glove and see where his foot is by the time the ball hits the back of the glove again it doesn't have to be closed just hit the back. Oof. Did a side angle. To, ooh, yeah, ooh, I, they I, just got him. I think yeah they called him out I'm not sure that we've seen anything to change it.
Boys taking a long look at it. Jeff Bannister on the left. anything for them to change the call right and I like the review music is the late Marvin Gaye's what's going on <laughs> nice touch by Greg Green and his in-game entertainment crew there you go bring it up a little sound Foley Back to the DJ days in the early mid 70s. Matter of fact, it may have been a little later than that. We have had two long reviews today. You know it. Oh, Lenny Kravitz. Are you going to go my way? His mom played Helen on the Jeffersons. Out! All right. Here we go. Ninth inning. Eight, nine, and one. Call confirmed to two ball game. Chance to win it in the ninth. as they open up the home portion of the season. There's your line score for this afternoon. Mariner RBIs by Smith and Cano with a home run in the fifth inning. The line of the Shields tied it in the eighth. Adrian Beltre put Texas in front in the third. Martin going to lead things off. He's been on base a couple of times, two walks, also has a strikeout. Like to have his speed on the bases. Martin also is the first successful base dealer for the Mariners. This season, after he walked in the fourth, Tony Barnett, third pitcher today. Off the catcher, Brett Nicholas, 0 and 2. Martin Marte and Aoki. Two to Lee and Ace. Ball one. Our team one for one against Burnett. Keep 
keep the fastball away from a pretty good swing right there was elevated for Martin. Got an RBI double off him last Tuesday down in Texas. Swing and a miss. One, two pitch can't catch up to it. A strikeout. For Barnett. Hard breaking ball with his back foot and he swings over the top of it. Tony Barnett, it's his second strikeout. Here's Mark Tay, two strikeouts and a ground out. He's on deck. He's got two of the Mariners' six hits. Two and two. Two and two to Marte. Broken bat looper. Alberto can't get. Base hit. Needed that. I think he hits it right off the end of the bat. And he does. That's why he breaks it. But he'll take the base hit. Actually got in on it. <laughs> totally destroyed that bat. It did. Run at first. Alcus had a nice day. Double to right in the first, single to center in the seventh. He's also scored a run. Nobody's throwing in the Ranger bullpen, so it's up to Barnett. He gave Alcus a huge gap in right center. El Trey in a couple steps at third. Holding at first is Moreland. Strike one. The one to Nori. One one. Aoki one for one against Barnett. See Felix over the weekend in New York. One one. Kyle Seeger. Frustrating week for the boys. Win here with a yeah, feel good moment. One one to Nori Aoki. Long hold by Barnett. That field hanging up there for Desmond. Two outs. Be up to Franklin Gutierrez. Gutierrez came in as a pinch hitter in the seventh inning. Ended up getting a base hit. Hit the ball hard in the left field for a hit. See some of that Goody magic here in the ninth. El 
pitch ready to sit on the line at third base. Rangers outfield give Goody the gap in right center. Arte plus speed at first. Strike one. The shield to center fielder shading towards left center. Franklin with good power to right. You see the big gap in right center field. Line drive right at Root Sports out there and watch Marte run. Two outs. Game winning run at first here in the bottom of the ninth. Alberto flipped to a door and that'll do it. We got extra frames coming up in the 10th inning. Here we come in a 2 2 ball game at Safeco Field. Needed to see this. Oh, sitting on an 0 for 14. Not anymore. It's fifth home run, all coming against Texas. And Robbie puts the Mariners in front, two to one. Puts a great swing on that fastball. Almost hit the cafe out and right. But a tough break as Peralta, second time this week, gives up an eighth inning home run. This is the Shields, his first of the season on a 1-1 pitch. Ties it at two, and that's where we are. Taiwan Walker started. Went six innings, and he was in line to get the win. Really pitched well. You can see the six innings, just the one run. Four strikeouts, 107 pitches. Steve Suchek will continue on. He pitched a 1 2 3 ninth inning. He's got Hanser Alberto. 8 9 1 due up. Alberto today got an infield hit since then a ground out and a line out. Did he go? Did not, says Corey Blazer. Zero and one in extra inning games. Another broken bat. Whew. But that stayed on the premises and not going to the fans. Right off the end, maple bat shatters. Boy, goodbye. Holding on to the foul tip is Ionetta. Suchet brings up a strikeout. One out here in the tenth. Good running fastball right on his hands.
bring up Nicholas. See that's that corner and misses. He is 0 for 3. Jake Peekman gets loose again in the pen, hard throwing left hander. First extra inning game for the Rangers, the Mariners 0 and 1. Just outside. Pitch. Oh. Board now will strike three and one. You don't want to walk him because you have some speed on the bench. Andrews did not start today, and I would imagine if Nicholas reaches base, he'll probably pinch run. Comes a 3 1. Oh. A lot off at 80 miles an hour to get a strike three at two. And I was able to drop a slider in there. Payoff pitch here to Nicholas. Felix Saturday against CC Sabathia. CC coming off a win. Hard luck for Felix. Two games, got an 06 9 ERA. It's 0 1 in his first two ball games. I think he's putting up a good fight here. He's sure trying to put him away. Outfielders in front of the warning track. Adam Lynn, you can see him guarding the line at first, trying to keep from hitting a double. 3 2 pitch. Struck him out. Back to back keys for Steve Seashack. And lots to be excited about when you think about Felix pitching at Yankee Stadium. Ten starts in New York. A lot of fine performances, six and two with a 202 ERA. Dominant with the strikeouts and limits the Yankees to just 228. He's thrown two shutouts. It will be a Saturday afternoon crowd. I'm sure he'll be pretty excited for that one. Really good in his last outing. The Shields tied it in the eighth with a home run. Two outs here in the tenth. Big Frisbee slur there, one and two. Weather in New York. For this weekend, a high of 64 on Friday, 63 and 66, all sunny days. Here's the one-two pitch. Got him to chase. Fishek strikes out the side in the tenth. Cano Cruz and Seeger coming up.
Dave Gofield, homestand finale. We want you to join in on the conversation for up-to-date game information and live interaction. Be sure to like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter and Instagram. Check us out. Stay connected with Root Sports. We're going to see one heck of a heart-throwing left-hander now, Jake Diekman. To be a sixth appearance, has not given up an earned run in three and a third, three strikeouts, a walk. And then giving up a hit. Three, four, five do up for the Mariners. Cano, Cruz, and Seeger. Robbie with his fifth home run earlier in the ball game. Gave the Mariners a two to one lead at the time. Cano's previous encounters with Dickman. One for seven. It was a home run. Dickman, he'll be 95 to 98 miles an hour with a hard slider. Three, four, and five for the Mariners. Bobby's home run in the fifth put the Mariners ahead 2 1, but the Lino De Shields home run tied it in the eighth. American League home run later with five. First pitch, ball one. Missed with a slider off the plate. Six. Cano thought it was down out of the zone. Nick Benson getting loose in the Mariner pen. Here's a one one. Ball two. Wow, that was right in the zone there. He gave him a ball. Two and one. Two on the Cano. Long run for the right fielder Mazzara. He runs it down. He's playing deep, back up against the wall, practically one away. Well, this pitch is in off the plate at 96, so it jams Robbie, and because he was playing deep, taking the double away. Good running catch, though. Those two catches he made last night were sensational. Diving towards the line and then a stretching out grab running towards right center. Cruz 0 for 3 against Dickman. Up the middle of door and eats him up. Practically depensed <laughs> Dickman. And almost did a likewise number against Odor. That thing was really hit hard. Well, talk to me about some exit velocity right here. Beekman throws him a fastball at 96, and he hits it right back at him. Odor can't even get his glove turned around. So it hits him in the foot. When he runs aboard, E4, one out here in the 10th. It's a tough error. Yes, it is. <laughs> I don't think he can hit a ball much harder. Good <laughs> grief. Yeah. I wouldn't want to be in front of it if he can. I can tell you that. Here's Seeger. He's 0 for 3 career against Diekman today. Two hard luck double plays and two fly outs 0 for 4. Here's the 0 1. Adrian Beltre with a no, no, no. So we go around the league, Mike. Uh, Beltre, you know, we acknowledge him as such a great leader. He communicates that as well or better than anybody. Let his teammates know what's going on. Dribbler, slow roller, Beltre. The last second, boy, he took a look at Seeger and then the last second decided to get Cruz. Two outs. I think he saw the distance Cruz was from second base right out of the corner of his eye and changed his mind because he certainly was set up to go to first. Two outs. We're going to bring up Dejo Lee. Pinch hit for Adam Lind. So 
Lee hitting Scott Service. The manager has Clevenger, the backup catcher, and Sardinus, switch hitter on the bench. Talking to Cano at the cage and he pointed at Lee. I like this guy. Works hard. He got it started his whole career. Now coming off the bench. So I like what I see. He faced Deakman on Monday night. Had a long at bat, fouled a number of pitches off, eventually hit the ball hard back up the middle. But unfortunately for him, Odor was standing right there. Is that the game? I think that ended the game, didn't it? I think so. Yeah. That was a good AP. Behind here, 0 and 2. And he had an elevated fastball at 95. It looked like the barrel was out in front. Mm -hmm. Trying to end the ball game in the ninth. That ground out off of Dickman. 0 and 2. Continued to challenge him. That fastball was 97 miles an hour at the top of the strike zone, and he lined it into the bullpen. Oh, that's beautiful. Second home run here in the big leagues. Couldn't have been more timely. Ends this <laughs> five game losing streak, and the Mariners will have some winning momentum going to New York. Yes, sir. Adeo is going to be a hit song again in Seattle. I think he probably learned a lot Monday night when he had that long at bat off of Deakman. We talked about it. He eventually grounded out. But it was three fastballs. Happy flight, happy flight. That is a big boy at bat. 97 miles an hour with, look, you see the big leg kick. That foot hits the ground and the barrel comes flying through the zone. How high that pitch is. That's mm. impressive. 0 oh, 2 count. Just rides it out of here. Scott Service during uh, spring training said, hey, this is a too good league. He's here for his bat. And he paid a huge dividend today as this one comes right over the camera. JR watched it go right over his head. So the Mariners finally get a home win. They're now one and five here at home, three and six overall. The Rangers dropped to five and five. And that is a wonderful win. Right now, Mariners post game presented by Delta Airlines starts right now with Jen Mueller. All right, guys, Robinson Cano blasts a home run in the fifth inning, but you were just talking to Deho Lee about his home run. What did you say and what did you think of that blast? Man, I tell him great job and uh, we really need this one. And uh, hopefully we continue from now on and then, you know, we're giving everything we got. Things wasn't in our side, but hopefully today we'll start something really good. Why was this one so important? Well, you know, you know, well, I mean, everyone is important, but after you lose five in a row, you want to at least end it on the home stand and win one game and then rest tomorrow and be ready for Friday. Let's go back to your at bat. Were you anticipating a slider there for, on that home run? Well, I mean, honestly, no. I was looking for a piece that I can drive, and uh, I mean, he had the slide, and I was able to make a good swing. It was a good swing, and a no doubt about it. Some interesting plays when you guys were on defense. What have you been told about that neighborhood rule at second base? Well, I mean, it's a lot of different stories. And uh, good thing that Lynn throws about a second, but uh, there, there was that rule. I'm one of the guys that I haven't get it yet. So it's going to take time. It is going to take some time. And lastly, can you tell that, that, that this team is ready to break out? Well, we're ready from the first day. The only thing that um team was in outside the last five games. We've been hitting hard balls and uh, they've been caught it, so we just gotta stay positive and keep playing hard. Big extra inning win for the Mariners. Robinson Cano, five home runs, all of them coming against Texas hitting so far this season, Brad. 
All right, Jen and Robinson Cano, thank you very much. And thank you, Mr. Diekman, for continuing <laughs> to challenge Day Holy. As those guys were talking about it, Mike and Dave, Monday night, he ends the game after a long at bat, seven, eight pitches, nothing but fastballs. And he hits one up the middle, grounds out. Today, three pitches. Nothing but fastball. I, when you throw 97, I guess you have a lot of confidence in that pitch, like Diekman does. Well, this isn't uh, this isn't uh, Dale Lee's first rodeo. This guy's seen lots of pitchers pitch him a lot of ways. Big leg kick. The league has decided he can't get to the fastball up or the fastball in. Well, Dale Lee just proved that he can do that. One of the hardest throwing left-handers in any bullpen in the American League. Diekman went hard. Dale Lee was on time, and this ball game is over. We wondered about it. We saw him hit the home run off Sir Camp, 88 down. This was a whole different breed of cat. A huge blow for the Mariners. Uh, a great find at this point is Dale Lee, who now becomes their answer against left-handed pitching beyond Cruz, a guy off the bench that can get it done. And again, on the other side of it, you broke one of those rules, Diekman. Your job isn't to pitch in late in games. You got to make them earn it. And he certainly earned it today as Lee did. The two-run shot, 4-2. The Mariners break that five-game skid. And we just were saying, if he threw him anything other than a fastball, he's probably going to be out in front of it. But, hey, <laughs> we're glad that he challenged sure. and We're glad that it worked out for Lee and the Mariners. So they win, and it's got to make a, a winning local Ford keys of the game. So everybody uh, everything's wins. Everything's going to look good. Everything's going to look. Let's take a look at those winning keys for tonight's ball game. Taiwan Walker, he was terrific. He did, in my best estimation. Snatched the pebble from the Masters' hands. He didn't get the win, but he pitched credibly. Had a tough inning the first inning, walked the bases loaded, got out of it, but after that, I thought he and Ianetta did a great job of using his changeup, right, raising the eye level of the hitters. And then he, he had a little extra gas in the tank in the sixth, hit 97 miles an hour. A little chapped about the strike zone. Gotta like his competitive nature, don't you? But I think Taiwan Walker didn't have his crisp control, but pitched through it. And I think uh, he and Ionetta have really got a nice thing going on. Number two, apply some pressure. You know, right away in the first inning, the Mariners showed you something. Aoki doubles. The Mariners get, get, a, get a couple guys on. They load the bases. But Seeger hits one right in the butt. We're talking about Aoki here. Here's a little Canseco ball off the head of Desmond. He gets on second base, eventually scores. Aoki swung the bat very, very well. But it comes down to the long ball, a nice job, a notch in his belt. Well, it's not a save, but it's a sweet win. And boy, was Ciszek excellent in his last inning when he struck out the side. Alberto with the fastball in, and then two nasty sliders to get Nicholas and the Shields. So a lot of good things have come out of this ball game. Clutch win, dramatic win, good pitching from Ciszek. And the Mariners, they just needed to win a home game, didn't they, or they go on this road trip? Exactly what Robinson Cano said. It's good to win them all, but they def definitely and desperately needed this one before the nine-game road trip, which we will preview here on the post-game show. Nice to see a winning keys from you. Nice to see Marichka Aoki setting while well, getting a hit in eight straight games. The Mariners have eight hits. They need all of them. Win 4-2, salvage a game, the three-gamer. We'll go inside the clubhouse. Finally, some smiles and some nice things to say. Coming up on Mariners post game presented by Delta Airlines.